Hey everybody, today I'm going to be doing a story time of when I get dumped while I was pregnant in 2017. So in 2017, I got pregnant with my son Josiah, he's my last son, and when I got pregnant with him, I was very surprised because it only take one time <laughs> and it was my birthday it was my birthday I know when exactly it happened it was on my birthday and you know it's your birthday and during those time I was out in the world so you know about the birthday sex <laughs> so yes birthday sex kind of thing and then I end up pregnant with him I find out in July Cause you know, the end of July, I was like, hold up, why is my period not coming? So I was ignoring it and like, no, I'm not pregnant. I would have just pregnant that easy. <laughs> I was ignoring it. And then I said, hold up, it's all because of my period didn't come now. I thought it switched up on me. Cause you know, sometimes your menstrual cycle could switch up on you, but it didn't come. So I tell his dad. <clears throat> I had a kid previously with his dad. I have two kids with his dad. Um, the first kid, and you weren't too happy about the first one too, and stuff. So you weren't too happy when I get pregnant the second time with the second one. He was like, nope, that ain't my kid. Okay, oh, you just get pregnant that one time. I said, well, it take one time for you to get pregnant. Anyhow, he didn't want nothing to do. He said, no, if you carry this skin, you tell me to do abortion. I said, no, I am definitely not doing abortion. You could go your way if you want, but I'm going to take care of my kid. So, he, um, he weren't in the kid life. He was not. During that pregnancy, he was there with my other son that I had with him, the first son I had with him. But... The second one, he was not there, so I had to bring that old pregnancy all alone. But he did come around sometime during the pregnancy because he disappeared. He dis we was in a relationship together, and he was like, when well, you're not pregnant, he definitely bounced. <laughs> he dip. <laughs> he pack up and dip. So we live in Massachusetts. He pack up and went to Maryland. I was like, yo, this guy is serious. I was very hurt. I'm not I'm saying it very jokefully now because I'm over it. I was very hurt. And I was very bitter towards him and I hated him. I'm telling the truth. And stuff. I hated him. Say, how oh, could he do this to me? Get get me pregnant and just get up and leave like that. I said, no, I don't want nothing to do. I don't want it. I didn't want any more kid. I didn't want the first one to begin with. And you go have a next one. I, I don't want it. So he tried to lie and say a lot of things that it weren't his kid. Then when that weren't working, he said, I raped him. I said, you can't lie on me like that. How oh, could little me rape you? Who's going to believe that? Don't even say that out your mouth. <laughs> I was like, don't even try to say that. People's going to laugh at you. Don't even say that. <laughs> he tried to lie that I rape him. I'm like, whatever you say, it's still your kid at the end of the day. So I was working during the time. I work up until two weeks before I had the baby. I was due like the end of March. And I work up until the middle of March. And then they tell me, no, 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 no. We can't have you working no more. It's too close to your due date. We don't want you get good labor while you're on the job. So two weeks before I had a baby, they said, no. It's time for you to go on break now. So I stopped working. But during that time of those lonely time, while I was pregnant with with his child, I get to know God during that time. I was really reading my Bible every day back in 2017. I was praying. I go to work and I'm reading my Bible. I'm praying. I still listen to, you know, song of this word, but I was getting really, really close to God. I even promised God, like, after I give birth, God, I am going to get baptized. And, you know, I'm going to stop partying and give my life totally to you because I really get to know you during this time. I really had to 
get close to God so that I don't go crazy. Because if something happened like that while you're pregnant, you're already hormonal, you could go crazy if you really don't have good support. And I don't like to talk to people when I'm going through a problem. So I had to turn to God. I talked to God during this time and I get close to God. However, when I did give birth, I did turn back to my partying ways and did start partying. And, you know, go back out in the world. Did they get baptized? But the following years, the following year after, in 2019, I did get baptized and live up to what I said I was going to do. And I was going to give my life to God. So, mouth is very powerful. It is a weapon. I had speak that out of my mouth, but it never manifests. I was delayed a year. But, in 2019, I did give my life totally to God. And I got baptized in 2020. So... During that time, I was very hurt. Plus, he was calling me and arrest, harassing me. Um, my friend had to step in, one of my friends from New York. I thank God so much for her. She stepped in and talked to him. And when my friend get rough, anybody could get scared. She would talk to you rough. And I guess he got the point. He was calling me, harassing me, saying, you need to get rid of this baby. You need to do abortion. I'm not going to be the light. Just calling me every day, harassing me for no reason. And I said, dude, stop calling my phone. I have to block you. And if you want to block you, he's still calling me for other people's number. He was really going crazy. I'm like, this guy is, psych is a psycho. I never seen this part of him before. <laughs> I was like, oh, my God. I don't get pregnant for a psycho with the second kid. Oh, my God. He is a psycho. He was really calling, harassing me while I was pregnant. Because I think he was do trying to do that for me to have a miscarriage. And where my relationship stamped today with me and him, actually he's in his kid's life. <laughs> he didn't want the kid, but he loved him so much. He said it weren't his kid, but the kid looked just like him. So he couldn't deny it and stuff. So I will tell you that the enemy would rise up into people to kill destiny. The enemy... Rise up inside of him, telling me to have abortion. And then he was harassing me. When that word body was harassing me, threatening he's going to come to my house. I said, if you come, I'll call the cops. Don't play games with me. Do not play games with me like that. It was like a lot of drama when I was pregnant. A lot of That's why I had to turn to God. I was like, you know what? I have to turn to you, God. Because I know that man could have solved this issue. This man... It's crazy. You have to do something about it, God. I don't know what is going on with this guy. Why does he go crazy? And he threatened to kill himself when I would have abortion. So I said, go ahead. It's easy for you to kill yourself. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm joking now. But you know, at the time, I did say that. Because I was like, I think it's easier for you to kill yourself than me killing the baby. You go ahead. <laughs> Take one for the team. I'm joking. <laughs> I, I really said that at the time. But, you know, forgive me, Lord. He didn't kill himself, but you know, he was that crazy that he said, I'm going to kill myself. I cannot afford the next kid. I was like, okay, then go ahead and kill yourself. <laughs> You're being very dramatic. You need to just be a man and man up and take care of your kid. I'm going to have this kid. So I'm telling you, sin, this come boil to sin. I mean, I was married to him, but again, sin. It's not good because you know we was unequally yoked so sin is not good when you out there in sin a lot of pregnant people lose their life like that you get pregnant and the guy you don't want a kid I go both of your had sex and get pregnant it's very bad because of sin I had a very stressful pregnancy I was left all alone in the pregnancy because that you know when I met him, you know, we was in a relationship. We was fornicating. We weren't supposed to be having sex. And we weren't married, although we did get married after we had the first kid. But then, after I had the second kid, he weren't too happy about that. And I didn't know that was going to happen. It's not like I could have prevent not getting pregnant anyway, because I don't like birth control. Um, we could have used protection. But he didn't even like to do that at the time. Because, as I said, we was married and in a relationship. And he totally went crazy on me when I was pregnant. I seen a different side of this person. I was like, wow. I was like, only my, it's like, oh my gosh. What did I do? 
why do I I know to choose this guy? Why I'm so I always think why am I so bad luck with man? Why am I so bad luck with man? I mean I dated a lot of nice guys. Look what I end up having kid for him. <laughs> and he is crazy. <laughs> so you know, that's what I was saying at the time. Telling my honest opinion, that's what I was saying. And you know, I just you know, I thank God I had a safe delivery. He's actually four now, he'll be five next year. I went through when I got pregnant and I had to have the baby all alone. My friend, thank God for my friend, sister Liz. She was there in the delivery room when I had the baby. He weren't even there when I had the baby. I wouldn't even invite him because I said he was very crazy. Who would know what he would do during the time. And stuff. He was out of state anyway. You weren't even living in this state. But my friend, she was there when I gave birth, and I thank God for her. When I was in labor, she come off work at eleven something at night, and she came by my house at one or two in the morning. We went to the hospital and I have baby. But the Lord was looking out for me because I'm like I'm kind of new to this state. I don't know if I'm gonna have baby all alone. I was just like crying. But my friend, I so thank God that it worked out. That I went in labor after my friend get off work. And she was, was there with me and she was just nice be there to me that was a she got to experience seeing a baby be born <laughs> and she really really loved my son because she got to experience that experience i thank god for her that god was there with me in the delivery room and he sent my friend sister liz to assist me during that time bring me home was there with me i weren't just only there with the doctors so god is good um today um, me and the son father, we're in a better place. We're not together, definitely. Since that time, we never got back together and stuff. I said, no, I'm not going to get back with him. He's crazy. Um, he we're in a good place for the kids' sake. And he's around. So God could change anybody. I'm telling you, God could change even a rock heart. So if you like stories like this, I need you to subscribe, give the video a thumbs up, and share the video. And if you have any crazy story, tell me in the comment section. I want to hear your crazy story about your ex or you being pregnant all alone or whatever crazy story you have. You don't even have to be pregnant, see like a guy break your heart, any crazy story you have. Thank you so much for watching. Be blessed. Have a good day. Shalom.